can easily create and share activities with students using Seesaw. Let's look at how you can create your own Seesaw activity. From your Seesaw home screen, select the Library button. This will bring you into the Resource Library. Notice along the top, you have four libraries to choose from. The Community Library, the School and District Library, the Seesaw Library, and My Library. To create your own activity, go into My Library. This is where you can not only create an activity, but will find all the activities you've created or favorited. From here, you'll want to select Create a New Activity. Complete the text fields that are important to your class. I would recommend adding a title, student instructions, recording voice instructions. Be sure to input translated text if that's something that your students need. Next select add template for student responses. This is where you can choose what type of template your students will need. If you are unsure, start with the drawing option. The drawing option allows for both the teacher and the student to embed photo, video, audio, text, and links along with the drawing features that Seesaw offers. If you are a Seesaw for Schools district, you can also add multiple pages in your assignment. Be sure to use the accessibility features when creating your assignment. The ability to add voice to all objects is the fastest way to make your assignment accessible to all of your learners. Consider changing the paid settings for your slides to match the device your students are working on. When you're done creating your assignment, press the green check mark in the corner to add the template to your assignment. Push save to save the activity into your library. From here, you can assign this classwork to your students by selecting the assign button. Select the class you'd like to assign it to or select edit students to pick specific students. Select assign at the bottom of the window. Now that you have assigned this activity, you can find this activity under your assigned tasks for your students. It is also now located in your library. Now that you've created your first assignment, I want you to consider how you can work Seesaw into your daily routines and classwork. If you are looking for more engaging ways to use Seesaw, check out our Seesaw playlist or the blog articles listed in the notes below.